Why did you guys unfollow each other? Why haven't you guys been hanging around each other? Not too long ago, I was going through a lot of things with her family, and I had made some tweets. I don't know what you want me to say to you right now. I just need you to hear me, Natalie. I have to go. What are you, Natalie? Come here. Come here. Social media sensations Young Easy and Natalie O'Dell have taken the internet by storm. I just want to say first and foremost black lives matter and everything that's been going on i am hurt if you haven't been living under a rock and not knowing what's going on with this george floyd shoot everything we've been dealing with for years comment hashtag black lives matter and i just want to say you know we had to take a break from social media because it was just a lot going on in our personal lives but it's just like as far as posting we can't fake content and act like we're super happy and act like oh let's do like some challenges and stuff like that when all these real issues are going on in the fucking world y'all okay so i want to start off by saying that and with that being said if you're new to this channel hit that subscribe button i just feel like ever since we kind of came out like me and natalie our story there's been a lot of drama going on behind the scenes and it's it, it's really emotional for me to make this video with the protests and the stuff going on um, along with that is just like so many things have you know transpired with me and Natalie and it's kind of just new for us and there's a lot of things that we aren't showing you guys because we can't pick up a camera 24 7 you know but it's like I want to be truthful I want to be honest with you guys so you guys know what's going on you guys have been having questions about yo why did you guys unfollow each other why haven't you guys been hanging around each other you know what I'm saying if you guys notice in some of the videos like a few of them were pre-recorded before all of this stuff was going on and stuff like that and it's just like you guys can tell that there has been something going on and today I'm here to address it I'm going to um, talk to Natalie for the first time I'm kind of nervous um, you know and and she has some news that she wants to tell you guys I already know and it is very heartbreaking but you know dealing with our friendship for over three years it's something that I can handle um, but I just want to you know we want to keep you guys updated on what's going on and what's going to happen between me and Natalie. Before I actually um, you know head to Natalie's house I kind of want to sit here and talk about like you know what's been going on with me and then she can discuss like what she's been kind of going through I guess and we could talk about it together but pretty much if you guys haven't seen or don't know what's going on between me and her not too long ago I you know I was going through a lot of things and behind the scenes with you know her family and I had made some tweets you know I made some tweets and it was pure selfishness pure emotions that came up that i was triggered by from the past you know and i didn't know how to express that and i decided to take it to social media because i'm so used to this social media life and being real and stuff like that it's just some things you shouldn't do because it will ruin a relationship you know what i'm saying and i feel like me doing that was childish me doing that was not being in control of my emotions and i have been doing so much work on myself and I've been growing and learning how to deal with my emotions and the fact that I have been preaching about spirituality and preaching about growth I took a huge step back and I just want to say I apologize my actions did cause a reaction and how Natalie is feeling about certain things I completely understand and I have to respect so I, I you know I'm only human and I'm not gonna sit here and justify my actions I'm not gonna sit here and say like oh because I'm human I get to do this or oh, what I can't feel certain emotions and it's just like no you do something and it's a reaction to it and depending on 
how the person can handle what you do is it's going to determine you know the, your future together or anybody's you know whether it's friends family anything but so i'm going over there to talk to her about it right now and um, like i said there's something that she really needs to tell everybody you know uh, it's, it's something that I, you know if i wasn't working on myself i feel like i wouldn't be able to handle but i understand what she has to say and you know things that she needs to do you know i'm gonna head over there right now and take you guys with me and you know um it's just been one hell of a roller coaster of emotions y'all especially like not coming out too long ago how i'm in love with this woman all right well i'm, I'm just gonna go over there and we'll talk about it there and i'll see you when i get there so i'm at natalie's crib right now I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling so many emotions right now. It's like, oh my God, bro. There's so many emotions that I feel and certain things because I can't change them. It's just like hard, but it's how you deal with certain things. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm right now. <sighs> Hello. Hello. Hey. How's it going? Cool. Yeah. How you doing? I'm cool. Can I get a hug? I miss you. Um, Do you have my weights? Huh? Do you have my weights? Yeah, I brought them in the car. I see you brought your suitcase and stuff down. Okay. All right, let me get your weights. Hold on. I can put it in there. Help right. you. Well, all right. Um, that's all your weights and stuff. Um, do you want to, you know, before everything happens, like kind of like talk and just make sure we're both on the same page, especially as far as communication and where my head's at and where your head's at. Um, I actually, you know, I'm. I need to get on the road because it's a long drive, so I wasn't really like planning to talk. I was just gonna load this up. I mean, I just feel like, like, can I please just get a conversation? You know, I just need a little bit more clarity and, you know, just making sure that I'm not, you know, thinking any other way except for exactly what you tell me. Please. Just a conversation. Uh -huh. Huh? All right. All right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I hope you take your stuff upstairs and then we can talk upstairs. No, we won't. We, we can just talk right here because I don't have much time anyway, so... Talk now. Well, I can set the camera up on that dumpster. Can I still record? Yeah, it's fine. Sure, sure we don't have to. It's alright, you know, like, I just feel like... What? <laughs> it's an easy gang, so I guess it's fine. Okay. Alright, let me set the camera up on that. So, um, I kind of told them, and you know, you already know, like kind of how I feel but you know you can kind of reiterate it and you know kind of tell me so I don't have any you know misunderstandings or I don't think that there's hope and then there's not or no hope and there is like you know kind of just break down what you're feeling um you know first of all I just want to say that thank you guys for being supportive for giving um, you know us some space like through this time I know a lot of you guys noticed um, certain things that were alarming like us not following each other and you know you guys were kind of putting two and two together because um, some of you also noticed the tweet that she made you know I just want to say thank you for not being too intrusive and being patient with kind of what's going on between us um, it's really hard guys like when you live a public life and you're also really going through stuff to know how to deal with it you know because sometimes having too many opinions doesn't help um, but then also I know that we're trying to have a more open line and stream of communication with you guys so that you really you know understand us and feel like a part of us our friends our family I don't really know what you want me to say you know I know that you came for some type of clarity some type of 
maybe confidence or me to say something that was going to make you feel better or soothe the fears that you have but I don't I don't know what you want me to say to you right now I mean I just I know you wanted to bring my weights and in hopes that you'd be able to get a little conversation in but there's nothing that I can say there's nothing that I want to tell you right now you know like I'm sorry like the only thing that I can tell you right now. Wait, but I'm I'm sorry. I just I just need you to hear me out of me. Like you don't have to be sorry about anything. I'm the one that I know. Look, I'm gonna just go. I'm gonna go. What do you mean? I have to go. I'm gonna go. What do you Natalie, come here. Come here.